Hey guys, welcome back to Candy Beauty. So today we're going to be testing out and trying on and swatching um, with the new Natasha Denona Hyper Glam Hyper Natural Face Palette. This baby right here. It is 12.3 grams, 0.05 ounces, and I believe it is made in Italy. Here's the back if anybody's interested. Just sort of pause this. Anyways, I am interested to try this out. I think it could go either one of two ways, either really good or really bad. But if you're new here, thanks so much for hanging out with us today. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Tap that bell so you can be notified of all the new upcoming videos. And let's get right into this new Natasha Denona palette. All right, so here she is. In all of her glory. I did not think, I mean, when you have this in person, it's kind of like small. I was kind of thinking it would be a bigger palette, but that's all right. I think I'm most excited about this um, shade right here called Dreamy. The other shades just kind of look like, I don't know, not that... I don't like get the feels when I look at this palette. I'm not like, ooh, I need to test this out. But, um, you know, my initial thoughts are, okay, this could work on the eyes. This could definitely work for the face. But where the heck is the highlighter? Like, I don't know. They say that this could be, this shade right here could be a highlighter shade. But to me, that's just like a light contour or bronze shade. So... I don't know, but let's get to swatching. So I'm gonna do this right here first. These three shades of the bronze and contour. It feels really nice to the touch. I'm sure there are a thousand people doing reviews on this, so I'm not even gonna like bother getting into the description or anything like that if you're interested in all that information I will link it in the comments so there's the three bronze and contour shades next we have these two blush shades which I think paired together these will be really nice um, these do feel a little bit more powdery and matte than the bronze and contour shades the bronze and contour shades just off the cuff just felt a little bit smoother to the touch again i mean i don't know if that is the case or not but so here's the two blush shades again okay and now on to what i'm most excited about is ooh, this feels good okay so there's Ooh, those three shades they feel really nice this is like that topper that I think that newer formula she's been doing and now these last two shades I just realized I forgot to put on lip. My lips are like very dry. Ooh, I like this soft shade. It's more of a puttyish and it's got like a little bit of iridescence in it. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Okay. So there are the eye shades. Again, would have loved to see um, like a highlight shade because I don't think this would work. It's a little too sparkly, crystally. This maybe, but it's got a sort of deep undertone, like a mauveish undertone. So I don't know, it might muddy up the face. Okay, so I do have to say I'm 
Not the hugest fan of this metallic packaging, although it looks beautiful. It's like so messy. I've dealt with this with the other Glam Face palettes. I'm gonna go in with blush first. And I guess I'm just gonna go in with this, the lighter side. Okay, and just like her other palettes, um, her other Glam Face palettes, this does retail for $62. It is made in Italy, which I think I had already said. So I'm just going in with the lighter pink side. Which if you have like a, I mean, I'm like light medium skin tone, I would say. So even if you are, actually, you know what? This shade would probably show up better on like a deeper skin tone. Or a fair skin tone. It barely shows up on me. Um, and then on this side, I'm going to go in with the deeper shade. Then I'm probably going to... feeling this one's going to be really, really bright. I'm probably going to try to... Oh, actually, okay, why isn't this... Hmm. Okay, there we go. Okay, I think the deeper shade is more of like a putty. No, I guess it is a matte. They're both very like soft shades. All right, so maybe I need to use a different brush. This is not really blending out that well. I'm just gonna mix them both together now and hope for the best. Yeah, I like them mixed together, I think. That's probably what you're supposed to do. I don't think they're close enough in tone to like create that like ombre blush effect, but it's okay. I mean, it's not like anything to write home about with the blush is concerned. All right, so now moving on to the contour shades. I don't even know how I'm gonna, it, it just, it's too tiny. It's too tiny to go in with like, it's almost like you're kind of forced to have to. Like, go like this almost. Yeah, I mean, this is not going to work for various skin tones. I mean, it works on my face. I, I do think it's like pretty, but you can't get like in individually. It's too small. So like, you're kind of forced to have to like. I do have a larger brush, but even if I had like a, my smaller e.l.f. putty brush, it would still be like really hard just to get in these shades. So it's like almost like you'd have to choose these two or these two and like go with that. Right now I'm just trying to go on the bottom, the bottom two, like the lighter shades. I like that it's not too too warm. Um, again, I just, I need more room to like sort of work. Okay, so overall like the face products I like, I think they work beautifully. I just don't think there's like a lot of variation. And again, I do wish there was a highlight. Now, as far as the eye shades, I don't have a matte. So, I mean, I know that she is expecting to pull from these shades. So I guess that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to go into this middle shade first. And just going to go into the transition area. 
with that. And then I'm going to go in with this shade right here. Actually, maybe I'll go in with this shade. Sort of lighten it up around the edges and give it like a little bit of warmth. Okay, now I'm going to go in with this shade right here. The deep blush shade. And I'm just going to put that like on the outer V and I'm gonna go in with this shade and just sort of go underneath with that and a little bit in the inner corner, or outer corner. I mean, they don't really blend like the best as far as, you know, face palettes are concerned. Like, eyeshadows are concerned, but that's all right. Um, so now I guess I'm gonna go in with, <sighs> gonna go in with this shade I really want to use this and then I'm gonna go in with this shade right here Ooh, that is pretty. And then on the outer corner, I'm going to go in with this grayish shade called Casual. Also going to go underneath a little bit with that casual shade on the brush because I do really like that casual shade. And I'm just going to go back in with this shade, the dreamy shade, because I do want to like put that a little bit more all over. And there we have it. I'm just going to do the other side now, and we will be back for our final thoughts on this new Natasha Denona palette. All right, you guys. So we are back. I have to say, after like trying to do the same look on this eye, I felt like it went much better on like my better side of my face. I just feel like a lot of these shades, like, I mean, I'm already, they're that like, you know, fusion of like cream to matte, that, that sort of cream shadow formula that she does. And I don't know that this is, here's the thing. I like that she added the blush and the bronze shades but I honestly feel like her other glam face palettes were like a little bit better of quality. I do really like the dreamy shade. It kind of reminds me of like this look in general. I feel like kind of reminds me of the etherealized palette from Makeup by Mario. Um, and I just don't think it's like something that now if you just need everything in one palette. Okay, I, let me just try to put do this shade as like a highlight. I don't even know how that would work. Yeah, it's not really doing much. It's like a highlight shade, is it? No, it's not. Yeah, I mean, it's, here's the thing. This would have been great in theory. Um, and I would have even like <clears throat> forgiven the quality. It's not bad quality, but I do, I was more blown away with her glam face palettes 
um, the two that came out, was it last year or the year before? Uh, I just, I thought those were really good. The, this is, this is okay, you know? I like that you can do your whole face pretty much except for the highlighter. Like, why wouldn't she have just put a highlight shade in? And I wish that these pans were a little bit bigger for the bronze and contour. And I don't really like that they're like, like cream to powder that kind of can get a little bit hard pan-ish. I think this is good for somebody that just wants something really easy, maybe is more of a beginner, um, isn't trying to do anything crazy. I did have some like issues though with the gray shade blending out a little bit. It's just, I need like a matte. I, I, I feel like she should have at least given us one matte eyeshadow. For me, this is just like a hard, I could do without it in my life. But again, I'm somebody that does have, I review makeup. I have a YouTube channel. Like I have a lot of makeup. So for me, I don't have to have something like this in my life. For somebody that just, again, wants, uh, see, I, I want to be like, for, for somebody who wants everything in one palette, this is great. But she didn't put everything in one palette. Like there's no highlight shade. You, I mean, you could use this as a highlight shade, but it's going to be like really glittery and textury. See? It's gonna kind of be like that Fenty Diamond Bomb, even more textury than that. So like, it's not gonna work. Um, I mean, it could work as a highlight shade, but like, you, you can see the glitter, you know what I mean? So like, I don't know. It's not an all-in-one for me. If she had put a highlight in it, then I think it would have been really good for people who just want everything in one palette. But honestly, this, or like a Physician's Formula All-Star Palette, I, you know, are there any Physicians Formula palettes that have like shimmer shades? I think there are. I, I just, I don't think it's worth the $62. I don't think it's anything like, I like the way it did look on my face. With the, I like, I, I do feel like they're very nice natural shades, but again, you have to be of a certain skin tone for it to work. And it just, overall, I don't think this is going to work for everybody. Uh, yeah, I don't know why she didn't come out with a light and a dark one because she did with one of the rounds of the face palette. She did a dark and a light. So I'm confused as as to why she didn't do that with this. Maybe she's going to come out with something else. I just, I, I needed a matte shade. I needed a highlighter. But for $62, me personally, I have all of this in my collection. Um, I can just, I can just accomplish the same thing you know, with other palettes and other, and other things. So that's my thoughts on this. Um, but you know, I, I'm sure that's an unpopular opinion. A lot of people love Natasha Denona for some reason. It just has not been happening. Me and Natasha have not been like clicking this year. I don't think I've really enjoyed. I did like the blue palette, the mini blue palette, but like, I don't know everything else. I just really haven't cared for. So Last year, I guess me and her clicked better than this year. I just, I haven't, I didn't really like the Xenon palette that much. It didn't work very well for me. And uh, then My Dream was okay. The mini My Dream was okay. But again, it's nothing to write home about. So I'm hoping that, you know, she has more to come. But yeah, this just wasn't, it wasn't a fave for me. Anyways, those are my final thoughts. I'm going to stop blabbering on because I could go on and go on and go on. But uh, if you haven't already, comment down below, good or bad. Do you have this? Do you like it? Uh, let me know your, your thoughts are because again, everybody's opinion is different and what I might think is garbage is another person's treasure. So, I, and I'm not saying this is garbage. I just don't think it's, I think it could have been better and I don't think it's worth the money, but all right guys, thank you as always for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.